Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your WordPress website and more specifically, I'm gonna quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you connect your Facebook meta pixel to your WordPress website? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna connect your meta pixel to your WordPress website anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know it's important to track your users and retarget them if you decided not to purchase on your website. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. Most of it's handled here in the WordPress dashboard. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. So I've already logged into my WordPress dashboard. Now, in order for this to work, you have to have already installed the Facebook Meta Pixel plugin, but we're gonna go over that right now. So first here on the left side, what you're gonna do is hover over plugin, and then you wanna click on add new plugin. Okay, once you do that, you're gonna be able to search plugin. So what we're gonna do is just type in Meta Pixel. Okay, so you're actually gonna see a lot of different options. This one seems to be pretty popular right here, pixel your site. I usually use this one, MetaPixel for WordPress, just because it comes directly from Facebook and you can log in immediately. So that's what we're gonna use today. So I'm gonna go ahead and install now MetaPixel for WordPress. And you can see the author is Facebook. Okay, now it's installed. I'm gonna activate it right here. Okay, now the plugin is activated. So we're gonna scroll down in our list of plugins and just look for MetaPixel for WordPress and we're gonna click on settings. Okay, so as you can see, in order to connect your Facebook MetaPixel to your WordPress website, you need to log into your Facebook by clicking right here, get started. Okay, next this window pops up asking if you wanna continue as your name. So you wanna be sure to use the account that you run your ads with. So for me, this is correct. If not, click right here and then log into your other account. Okay, so next they're letting you know if you connect your Facebook to WordPress, you'll be sharing this information. If you're okay with that, click on next. Okay, so this is kind of important. So you wanna make sure this all matches up. So first you wanna check the business portfolio and then the correct Facebook business page. If it's showing the wrong one, you wanna click on this little arrow and then choose the correct one. You can choose to connect an Instagram profile if you wanna do that. Also choose the correct ad account. And then here is where you can go ahead and choose the MetaPixel. You just click on this little arrow. Okay, so now if you have more than one MetaPixel, you can go ahead and choose which one you're gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one and then click on next. Okay, so once you have chosen all of that, here you can choose automatic advanced matching. I usually leave that on so that way if my customers have used their email address or phone number, Facebook can kind of match that up and then you wanna click on continue. Okay, next you have to agree to this. So WordPress is gonna be able to manage the business extension. So that's okay, go ahead and click on next. Okay, a few seconds later, this pops up. So I'm all set. It looks like my Facebook is now connected to my WordPress website, including my Facebook meta pixel. So let me click on done. Okay, lastly, it's asking if Facebook should trust this site. Go ahead and click right here and then confirm. All right, it's pending. Okay, a quick second later, you see this pops up. So my business is connected to Facebook. So now my Facebook MetaPixel is connected to my WordPress website. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to connect your Facebook MetaPixel to your WordPress website, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.